we bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of the servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. The topic of today is joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. What is morning? Why will joy come in the morning? Why? Why not in the night time? The opposite of night is day. The opposite of day is what? Is night. They are two different and separate things. Very separate from each other. They don't mix together. When one is coming, the other one is disappearing. There may be people in this house who are experiencing their morning. And there may be people who are experiencing their night time. A friend of mine called me this morning. As I was preparing for the message, and he said, People oh, broke into, into my house. house. Area boys, boys, they couldn't enter. enter. They yes. entered my car and yes. took away my products worth about a million to two million naira. I said, What is the problem? He said, The area boy said, I am a ritualist. That everybody is dying of hunger, and me, I was able to buy a car. I am living my life well. And they said, how come about the money of this person? Somebody say yes. The economy of every divine account member runs from where? From heaven. It doesn't matter what happens on earth. My economy my budget is running straight from heaven. If the crude oil of Nigeria cannot fund the oil, the, the budget of this present government, me, the anointing of heaven is more than able to give me a surplus budget at the end of this year. The morning is the part of the day. The early part of every day. It is a time the sun comes around and chases darkness away. The morning is a time that you're supposed to come out of your hiding when the darkness covers you and people forget about you that this one, we have not seen him, is no longer existing. But when your morning comes, the cock will wake you, Kokoro. Say, wake up and live your life. May your cock shout today. May your cock crow this morning so that you can wake up from every night, from every slumber in the name of Jesus. Yes. What about the night? The night is a time where the heart is covered with darkness. It's a time what's supposed to give us light. Illumination goes into hiding. It is a time you need artificial light before you see clearly. It is also a time there are some kind of animals that see better in the night time. Number one, owl. Buburu. But in the daytime they will be resting. But when it but when it is night, you see them in action everywhere. And because the devil knows that these animals they have better vision and are very active in the night, the devil has decided to transform himself <laughs> through these items, through these animals, and perform real wickedness in the night time. The night time is a time you are waiting for your breakthrough. It's a time that your friends who are celebrated with you in the daytime leaves you alone. The night time is a time after people have shared you up. Ah, this one is superb. This one, not celebrity. The night time is a time everybody leaves you. 
And none of the people that celebrated with you will come to ask you, what is your problem? If you have not experienced night in this world, you will never know your true friends. It is not the one that tells you, hey, Batman, give me another bottle. My old guy here will pay. It's not that one that is your friend. The one that is your friend is the one that will call you and say, I say, let me just call to hear from you. Are you at home? What are you coming for? He said, please, they, I have a solution. I did not sleep well because of your challenge. I want to provide something for you. That is your friend. The night is a time that those you have helped and given light, they will pass you by and pretend as if they did not recognize you. It is a time that the powers of darkness gather in the night. Let me read the scripture for you. Proverbs 4, 16. It says, for they sleep not. Who is the day? Who are the day? For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away. Unless they cause someone to do what? To cause someone to fall. The night is the time people become tired and they sleep off, even sometimes without praying. But there are those, after working with you in the markets, after going to the office, they still have strength enough not to sleep. Not because they are planning your good, but because they have a qualification, a PhD, not the one of our canon. That one is do what? Pull him down. So when people are sleeping in the night time, they are on their beds. Doing what? Devising evil. The night is a dangerous time. And the day Jesus was captured when it was almost night. Jesus said, my soul, my soul, my soul is sorrowful even unto death. He told the disciples, this night is not a night you sleep. It is a night you wash and you do what? Pray. And you pray so that the morning can come. If you do not survive your night, you can never enter your morning. Some of us are here because you can't sleep at all. Once you want to sleep, the monetary spirit will come upon you like a bulldozer. I have experienced that kind of time. I tell you that there was a time in my life so sleep was a problem. Stomach pain. Once it is getting to 12, there used to be a woman who pursued me everywhere. Everywhere in my family. A time came. Somebody say a time came. I became angry. Whether you run, you go die. If you fight her, you either survive or you do what? Or you die. I said, it's better for me to fight than run. One day I saw her eating starch. I went to the village. I said, Mama, I want you starch too. As I was washing my hands, she was washing her hands to get up. She was afraid of the boldness. Today they have problems, they still call me. And they will keep calling me. The night time is a time those who laugh with you in the daytime. We squeeze their face and bring out their true nature. Micah 2.1 says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in their power. It is in the power of their hand. It is a time people who devise evil and
are not so busy to fly. You are sleeping on your bed and somebody is somewhere planning evil against you. Whosoever, 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 all over the world, in the atmosphere, in the terrestrial world, in the aquatic world, in the celestial world, whosoever that will gather for your sake, whosoever that will gather for evil, against your destiny, may the Lord give that confusion. Amen. The next time is a time that people give up. Many people, they give up on their lives. First Corinthians 15, 32 says, Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we do what? We die. The Epicureans. The Hedonists. They look at life. Oh, we, whether you enjoy or not, you will die. Why not we just eat and drink? Since our morning is not coming. And there is something that we need to watch against. Because at the darkest moment of the night, the dawning of day has already started stepping in. Is that true? Before the day, the morning will come. Come out of your house. Depending on your location. But just watch. Between four and six, you will see a darker moment. And after that moment, what will you get? If you eat and drink because things are not working well, you are miscalculating the finger of the Lord who is able to write your story. It is a time that people give up on life. Somebody gave birth to a lady and called the baby and called the woman. He said, My life is my life. life. No be morning life. Do you know what it means? I will start with night and end up with day. I will work hard. In my night time, so that I will enjoy the fruit of my labor. The morning is the time, according to the name, Abowa, is the time you walk. But once it's coming to evening, you start reaping the fruits of your labor. We do wedding sometimes, and we see people coming to represent the children. Of other persons. He said the mama don't die. The papa don't die. Somebody say all welfare. My Bible says, now who plants cassava? And I do it. You shall not beat for another person to live in the house. That is my Bible. If you find yourself in the night, what will you do when you are expecting your money? Will you say, let's eat and drink for tomorrow we die? It's a sign that you are afraid. It's a sign that you have given up. Somebody told me yesterday, and he said, when I got to the university, and I discovered that for me to become what I want to become, I must know for that mass. He said, it didn't take long. There was a long strike. And during that period of strike, he traveled so far to meet somebody that knows further mass. And he was learning, 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 learning. And by the time he went back to school, he was able to do something. we have people, when they come across with situations like this, say, Papa, say, now he gets us now. Party time. Grooving time. They will start grooving. Grooving. Groove, 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 groove. At the end now, they go and threaten lecturer. At your ninth time, the Bible says, make the best use of every what? Of every opportunity. When God was to create the earth, 
God did not meet the earth in a good position. The Bible says there was darkness. But God did not command the darkness to disappear forever. He said, let there be light. And he made a separation between the night and what? And the day. He made a separation. And God put the night into use. Are you making use of your night in the house? As we expect our morning, you must put your night into use. The night time determines how you react with your miracle. How you react to your miracle. Because if you are not prepared for it, when the miracle comes and found you sleeping and drunk, the miracle will do what? Will pass you by. Opportunity comes how many times? It comes but once. So you have to watch. You have to watch. Because the word of God says, joy does what? Joy does what? It comes when? In the night time. But in the morning. Can you have morning without having night? It's impossible. Do we know that so many people that the thousands of persons that came out of Egypt, some people did not enter the promised land. Because they, they were unable to manage their time in the night time. In abroad, sorry to say, when people go to prison to serve, they know that it is their night hour and they prepare things for them. I was watching a documentary, I think, in Venezuela. You see, prisoners, they party, some even learn shoemaking, and they are giving people to children in the prison. So, people, if we love ones we come from outside and start staying with prisoners and I said this prison won't better pass uh, the freedom where did that country oh. you know the country <laughs> you know the yeah. you see not the same people who travel abroad look at our prison here I, I have seen people in Wario we say I go and ask about me I don't go carry many times. I can kill you and go back there. Because they did not make use of their minds while in the prison. I also see people who will come from the same prison and become pastors like me, like this. Praise the Lord. You see how they block our roads? Eh? Now, like this, they take care of prison. Eh? That they block road for abroad. Is it that we don't know what to do? Oh, you just see somebody carrying a laptop, computer, and feel CCTV everywhere and be watching the old people. But here they go and suffer us and block our roads. They know what to do. People, when they pass by prison, that they suffer. Now, who they inside? No, they suffer. When, when you are on the queue, when you are on the queue, you should, and you are sweating, you should know the kind of sweat those who are inside are passing through. And when they come back, their eyes very red because they fail to make use of their night. The Bible says, make the best use of what? Of every opportunity. Listen, Paul, Paul, who wrote the epistles, he wrote more than everybody. But who stayed in the prison most? Eh? Can I hear you say it again? Paul saw himself frequently in the prison and Paul told himself, I have to make the best use of my time. And while other prisoners will be blaming their grandfathers and the police that arrested them, Paul will be doing what? We'll be praying and writing. Today, everybody is enjoy the fruit of his imprisonment. When we used to have Okada in worry, you dare not talk to them anyhow because they, the sun is shining on them. The sun is hitting them very hard. And when you fail to give them their complete pain, even because of ten naira, they are ready to fight. Be 
Because an, an a hungry man is what? Is an angry man. And some of us when say Wahala, you know they recognize Wahala. You won't leave your children for us. You won't push you. Push yet, you won't follow Okada man fight. You go die through. You who are invested millions from yourself. You want to go and fight. But the Okada men who are wise, they will know that it is the period of what? Of their time and make good use of it. Are you making good use of your night time? That is a question. Because the word of God says, the morning must surely come. And it will not come alone. The morning will not come empty handed, but it will come with what? With joy. Your, Your joy, joy will come, come when? In the morning. How many of us are developing ourselves? In your night time, there is no job. What are you doing now? What are you doing? People come to church and steal fools. And they will blame it on who? On the devil and the government. We will pray one prayer point that I will not die in my wilderness. But I will enter my morning. I will enter my promised land. And before we pray, let's look inside. What is that night you are passing through? That you need your own money. When it's painful that some guests, where they are single, it is a time they have license. License to run from one place to the other. And as they are giving you money, they are giving you gonorrhea. They are giving you syphilis. They are giving you different kind of herpes, everything. They loot them. You now, you go talk to trailer of STI. Now, pastor, the sufferer. <laughs> pastor, I don't know where you can enjoy for night. You say, man, you need that. They pray. You they enjoy. You say, if this one fail, this one not go fail. Or this one. In fact, if this one fail, say, if I will get belay for them, I go, who come? When husband don't come now, they look for baby. May the Lord Amen. Amen. We are going to finish that I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what my heart to run away. My life is in your way. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Talk to your God. If you have lost your job and you are looking for a job, tell the Lord, I will not perish in my light, my night time. I will survive to see my miracle. If you are a widow, you are suffering to train your children. Tell the Lord that Lord, the hand that sows is the hand that we reap. Talk to your God about your night time. That you must see your morning coming with shouts of joy. Keep those hands lifted up as we pray. Oh Lord, our King, we believe that our lives is in your hand. It doesn't matter. Whether there is money in this country or not, we will not die in this economic recession. Whether things are moving on well or not, Lord, this night time of this Nigeria, your children will not perish in the name of Jesus. As many under the sound of my voice, I pray for you. That God will give you wisdom yeah. to make use of your night time. God will give you divine knowledge to make the best use of your night time. You will not be addicted to alcohol. When there is no money, your family will not scatter. Father, I pray for those who have graduated and are looking for a job. 
it is clear that many of us here are passing through our night time. But may your morning come in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, our King. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.hosannadavid.com. Email us at info at hosannadavid.com. God bless you.